In this video I'm going to show you how to replace the controller on the new KQA2 Pro electric scooter. So this is the scooter that was not turning on. So new sent me a replacement controller. So in this video I'm going to show you how to take out the old controller and plug in and install the new controller. I will also show you how to remove the battery in the second half of this video. Before replacing the controller you will need to take apart the scooter and uh, you can check that out in my other disassembly video that I will link in the video description and there I will show you how to take apart the scooter and get inside the deck in case you ever need to replace the controller. Okay, so let's get started. Let's first disconnect the battery. It's the battery disconnected and let's put some electrical tape over the connector just in case while we work near it. And now let's uh, unscrew the controller and take it out so we have easy access to the wires. So we are going to use a number 4 Allen key and there are two screws holding the controller to the scooter. the screw holding it in place with two washers that means it and the other screw is just over here okay you should also be careful because there is some thermal paste that's in between the controller and the bottom of the deck. So here is the replacement controller. Here are the specifications of it. And let's put next to this one. And the easiest way is to unplug the cable from the old one, plug it into the new one and that way you will know which cables go where. And let's leave the motor cables and the battery cable last. So let's disconnect these cables. This is the cable that's going up the top to the display. So there's a small clip here, so you press on the clip, carefully wiggle it out, it should come out. Looking at the controller, all the connectors are actually different, so there shouldn't be a risk of not knowing which cable goes where, because each connector has different amount of pins, so that should make things a bit easier. Okay, let's take out these cables first, so then it would be easier to get to the bigger one. Okay. 
and you always want to pull on the connector not on the cable otherwise you might pull out the cable from the connector so just cable carefully wiggle it out let's try this one okay and then the Okay, got the last one. This bigger one was a bit more difficult to get out. Okay, so this is the old controller. It looks identical. And we can try to scrape a bit of this thermal paste from it and apply it to the new controller. It looks the same as computer CPU paste, so you might use that one on it as well, not sure. Okay, so let's one out of the way. Okay, now let's reconnect the cables to the new one. Okay, so let's see what will be the easiest way to it. We have the metal cables here, this one here, this one here. Okay, so let's first connect these cables. They are color coded, so it should be easy enough to plug back in. Checking how the cables work. Okay, let's open this one. Let's plug it in here. Okay, so we have all the cables reconnected apart from the battery cable. So now I will just clean the bottom of the controller with some alcohol and put a bit of the thermal paste back on it, it might help. Give it a few seconds to dry. Let's put this back 
Okay. Most of it stayed on the bottom of the scooter. Let's put it back in. Okay, we have all the cables connected. And this is the charging cable for the battery, so that stayed by itself. So before we reinstall it fully into the scooter, we should probably plug it in and see if it actually works. I got the tape. Okay. Let's see, so let me put it in. I want to go this way. Okay, and the battery will plug in here. Okay, we plugged it back in. Okay, so once you have everything connected back together, you place the controller. In place and you put back the two screws and then you can tidy up the cables a little bit put the panel back on screw it in place and that's how you replace a controller. Yeah, you can play around with the cables a bit so they don't stick out. There is plenty of space in there. So this was the overview of how you can replace the controller on the new KQI 2 Pro electric scooter. Next, I'm going to show you how to remove the battery from the scooter. We are going to disconnect the main power connector and then there is uh, another data connector that's going to the controller and then the charge cable is going up to the front here. You can disconnect the charging cable here as well so you don't have to remove the whole cable. And the last cable goes over here. This is the removed battery. You have three connectors here, the main power connector, the data connector and the charge connector. And it's held in place by four screws, one on each corner. Here's the rest of the controller.
If you would like to see future videos on the new KQI2 Pro scooter, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you like the video, please hit the like button. And I will see you next time.